This is a software you could download online if you want to make screencasts yourself. Go to Screencast-O-Matic. You can even just hit Start Recording and you don't have to download anything. So I'm going to show you this cool tool that we found today. Under Rigid Polygon, hover over it and notice that this tool will allow you to select vertices or just click a polygon to make a rigid copy. So this is kind of cool. If I click the obtuse triangle, I get a copy of it. And I think I now have several copies of the obtuse triangle. And the reason that is exciting is because you can now use the obtuse triangle without it losing its properties. See how I cannot lose that 120 degree angle that I built into the original figure? Now the one interesting thing that we did lose in the rigid transformation was the midpoint. So let's go ahead and create midpoints. I really want a midpoint on this segment. So let's see if that'll work. Yep, on this segment. So using the midpoint tool, highlight the segments. I'm purposely not touching the segment in the middle because I want to make sure I'm not just making a point. I want to make sure what I have is a midpoint. And now I can pull these copies around. Oops, that one did not make a midpoint because I touched the wrong area. I'm going to hit the forward button to put the good one back on. So the, this was found by one of the other teams in C-Block, uh, really helpful to play around with GeoGebra and help us find the tools that will help us use the original figure more than one time. So what I want you to do is perform some of the transformations you identified in your team. For example, you may have found that if you Let's take, for example, the half equilateral. You may have found that you used a reflection tool over the long side, and you got this quadrilateral that we customarily, customarily call a kite. and you may then make a rigid copy of that original figure and you can make something else. Let's ref I have to admit when I first made that transformation I was expecting to get the rectangle. So with a little more thought I can try another tool and let's try to rotate. Where's my rotation tool? Let's try to rotate this copy of the half equilateral around that midpoint. And now I have to make a decision about how far to rotate it. Let's try 180, maybe you'll try 90. Uh, for this rotation, the 180, it doesn't matter if I go left or right. And now, because I know that I built this original figure on a perpendicular pair of lines, I know that what I have here is a 90 degree angle. Uh, that was copied, oops, didn't mean to do that. That was copied over here. I have to choose my segments in a clockwise order. Mm, interesting. So let's try this one first. <laughs> Not so easy to do. So I'm going to use the stylus. Close this. Back arrow here, touch this one, followed by this one. There we go. So because a rigid transformation was performed, I know I have two 90 degree angles here. And if I'm still in my angle tool, I'll play around with that later. So I want you to make some rigid copies 
from the file that's hanging up in the assignment page that currently looks like this. And make some new shapes. Use the text box tool, which is located here with the pens. Use the text box tool to type the new shapes name on your file, and then you'll upload your file.